All right. Um, I've been receiving a lot of requests on people asking me to show, you know, what comes in a packet, how to set it up, and, you know, a complete installation of it, you know, just to show it is plug and play. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you a little bit of all that. But, um, so here we go. So, you know, mainly, here you are. Here's your game station, you know. Um, it also comes with the power supply. Um, whether you order the wired, you know, USB controllers or the wireless controllers, it's up to you. You can order all four or just two, um, of each one. It doesn't matter. Um, and then it also comes with the instructions. Um, it tells you how to connect it, um, how to save and load a game, rewinding games, how to exit a game, setting up your Kodi and how to do a proper shutdown. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, you know, I'm gonna jump right into it and show you and connect it and show you it, how easy it is. So basically we are going to take it, let me put this in. So we will take this, here's your HDMI. I do not give you an HDMI. So many people have hundreds of them in their houses, but you would plug in the HDMI first. Here's your power supply. And you would plug that in the back. Let me show you real quick. But fairly simple. So as soon as you get that in. Oh, got the wrong way. Okay. Then your blue light turns on. And then voila. So we'll go ahead and use the... <clears throat> show you there it is <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the uh, controller So this is a loading screen, one of many loading screens. It'll randomize every time it starts up. So that you're not just looking at a loading screen, it's you know, something to look at. Some are longer than others. This is probably one of the longest ones. But that's it. So you just plug in your HDMI. You plug in the power cord that I give you. Put it on the correct HDMI. And just give it a little bit. So I have the uh, wireless, I mean the wired controller in. Um. <coughs> Sorry. All right, just give it a little bit longer. And like I said, you can order two and two. You know, I have the four controller set up. You know, I have different setups on the website. Uh, the PlayStation 1 upgrade. You know, this is just a tutorial on just showing how people, you know, how to, you know, how, just showing them how it just, it is a plug and play system. So, all right, here we are. So this is your main screen. It'll take you right to Kodi. I'm not going to show you right now on how to do Kodi because um, it's a lengthy process. So I'm going to just show you how to just get in, out of games and whatnot. So give me a quick second. Alright, so basically, you're just going to push whichever button, like if you want to, you know, if you want to look in here, let's say we go to Arcade, push A, and, and it gives you a little preview here of every game that you're going to be playing, you know, so say that, you know, you're trying to find a game that you remember, you know, on an Arcade system, you don't know the name of it, you could just look here and, you know, and maybe it'll come back to you. So, almost every system, every game has a video preview. I mean, a game preview. Alien vs. Predator. Say you want to play that game, you just push the A button. And give it a quick second, and it'll load up. And you're ready to go. So, 
So as soon as it starts, you're just going to push, see select, it gives you the credits on the bottom corner, right here. So, so every time I push, it gives me more credits. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with this game. Select your I'll just play a little bit and show you guys. So we're going to jump out of there, and that's basically how it goes for uh, the arcade section. Um, you push select, it gives you more coins. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then you push the select button, and just say we want to go to like Mortal Kombat, M, A, and then you can push this one, it goes faster, it goes by page. Let's say you want to go to Mortal Kombat. So let's have Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 3. And let's say you want to go to Street Fighters, this has all the Street Fighters. I mean, these are just questions that I get asked, you know, a lot. So I want to make sure that I address them here in this video. So, as you can see, we have every Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter 2, Anniversary Edition, Championship Edition, Hyper Fighting, The World Warrior, Giant Attack. So see, there's the new ones. The Third Strike, uh, Street Fighter 3, New Generation, Street Fighter um, Chaos, SNK vs. Capcom, Street Fighter Zero, Street Fighter Zero 2 Alpha, and there's also a Super. Where is that? There's also a Super Street Fighter somewhere. Oh, there it is. Soup. No, it's not in there. Mm. Right there. New Challengers. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this and put this over by the other ones. But, I mean, it has Punch-Out, Contra, all that stuff. I mean, Atari 2600, 648 games. Push A. B for the back. Atari 5200, same thing, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, 76 games, ColecoVision, 140 games, Commodore 64, 309 games. So a lot of these older systems, there are they are going to be needing a keyboard so just a random any usb keyboard you can just plug it in and it's just ready to go ready to play famicom the nintendo version the japanese nintendo version every game has every game for that has every game for the famicom disc system game gear has every game for it these are this is the old game and watch little games Um, Game Boy, we have 1,406 games. Okay. <clears throat> Game Boy Advance, 97 games. Game Boy Color, 528 games. And Television, another old system, 121 games. MSDOS, this, this is, um, I just have one game on here, and that's because it is the Oregon Trail. A lot of people have been asking about this game. Um, it was on the Apple II version, but it only loaded disc one. So this is the whole game for MSDOS. So I know a lot of people are excited about that. MSX, another old system, 345. Nintendo 64, 173 games. So we'll go ahead and go into the game everybody asks about, Super Smash Brothers. It's me! 
so obviously the the Nintendo 64 PlayStation 1 games they're going to run better on your wireless controller. So if you want it for that system, you might want to think about purchasing the wireless setup. Because some of the game controls are on the right analog. So so the N64 has a little bit of lag, but it's, I mean, it's been upgraded a lot and it works, it works so much better than before. So we're going to jump out Nintendo Nintendo 1030 games So every Nintendo game ever made So And then there's there's some more on here that are just like hack games That should be in this section This is Nintendo hacks These are just uh RBI Baseball 2016, 2017 it also has Tech Mobile 2017. So that's the old Tech Mobile with new players on it. So Neo Geo Pocket Color, 40 games, PlayStation. Now this is the PS1 upgrade right here. The original system comes with, the regular system comes with 25 games or 24 games, something like that. And this one is the upgrade, which, get, which gives you another 80 games on top of all that. So you do get, you know, quite a few more games if you get the upgrade. So Crash has all the Final Fantasies, Grand Theft Autos, Madden, Marvel Super Heroes, all that. Uh, ports, these are some like PC games, Doom, Duke Nukem, Cody, Minecraft, Quake, and you also get, I'll show you that right now, Sega 32, another older system, 33 games, SG-1000, that's another Sega, 62 games, Sega Master System, 267 games, so these are all the Sega Master System games, jump out of here, Sega Genesis, 819 games every game made for Sega Genesis you know Sega Genesis hacks this has a bunch of hack names so this has Battletoads and Double Dragon um, so it has a lot of Sonic games Super Famicom just added. This is the Super Nintendo. All right, so here I am back. Um, it didn't let me record a video so long, so let's continue where I left off. Super Famicom, the new one that I just um, added. So this is just the Super Nintendo, the Japanese version. A lot of different games in here. So, and then here is the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo, we have 787 games, every game ever made for Super Nintendo. So, let's go ahead and pick a game. Let's go into Aladdin. Your loading screen.
So let's go ahead and jump out of here. Start select at the same time. Jump it right back out. And then Super Nintendo Hacks. So this is going to have the, uh, this is another one, an NBA Jam 2K17. It is NBA Jam with, you know, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, uh, John Wall, Devin Booker, all that good stuff. So all those players are going to be in that. Uh, Turbo Graphics, another older system, 340 games. Vectrex, 23 games. Virtual Boy <clears throat> has about 22 games. Wonder Swan, 104 games. Wonder Swan Color, 90 games. ZX Spectrum, 375. And then here is a desktop. Um, let's see. I don't want to jump in it, but it's just a desktop, just like uh, you need the internet for that only. For that and Cody, you will need the internet. So that's going to be, um, you'll need um, a wireless um, keyboard or not a wireless, but you know, USB keyboard, wireless keyboard. This is my wireless keyboard, it has a mouse pad. Um, you just plug that in and you're ready to, you know, to browse the internet if you don't have the internet. Um, all games so it shows you right here there's 15,293 games so if you know the name of a game and you, but you don't know what system it's on you could just find it here everything is in alphabetical order and it tells you what system it's on so Bugs Life is on Nintendo 64 and yeah and favorite section um, so right here we have Galaga and Pac-Man. I just put those in there automatically. But just say, if you wanted to go and add, say the Adams Family Values, you wanted to add that to your favorites, you push the Y button, if you look on top, added Adams Family to Favorites. And let's check that out. So we go to Favorites now, and there it is. So without having to search for all your favorite games you can just put them here and you know where they're at you know how to find them you don't gotta search for them everything is just right there and then if you just want to take it out just push y again and it will delete it that's how easy it is to do that and then your last played obviously um the last games that you played so aladdin was the last game that we played and that's pretty much it i mean the cody I'll, I'll do another video for that cody is always up and down they shut down you know some of the stuff but i give you um some info on knowing which which ones are available um it does update on its own um it cleans itself you know the clear the catch and the thumbnails and whatnot so that you don't build a bunch of garbage on there and take up all the space um and that's pretty much it. I mean, here is something else that you can do. So this is a comic book. It's called comic book, you know, view, a theme. So if you want to change the theme, push start, UI settings, theme set. So we got comic view, um, box alloy red, carbon, card crazy, green delicious, magazine madness, SNES mini. So let's go ahead and go. This is the... Uh, the way the the Super Nintendo classic came out and the way it looks and <clears throat> so you can just change it just give it a couple seconds it'll change the theme and there you go so arcade 2600 so let's say we want to click on there looks a little different but this is the way that the Super Nintendo Classic looks and the Nintendo Classic NES Classic but you know it's just a different look I mean you can change it up as often as you want you know Nintendo 64 you just you know say you want to change it back you just go here SNES Mini let's check the box alloy red just want to show you guys that you guys can you know you can always freshen it up and you know with a different look as often as you want so box alloy red is um it's kind of neat it's like up and down instead of you know this way so let's 
so. Okay. Let it, you gotta let it load up, but so there you go. So port section 32x Sega SG. So it gives you the box, so you know, looks like uh, the box system it came in. Genesis, enter there, and there you go. So just a bunch of different ways, you know, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. So you can switch it up. And uh, we'll go ahead and go back. Comic book. So we'll go ahead and go back and then um, pretty much that's it. I mean, I pretty much ran through everything. <clears throat> there are some other things that I'm not showing you like the, you know, how to do cheats and whatnot. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. So we go into Super Nintendo. Let's say we're playing, you know, a game that everybody wants to play. So we're going to go to Super Mario World. So there is a rewind feature, like say you die and like, you know, you mess up on something or you didn't grab something that you're supposed to. There is a, re a rewind feature, there's a save feature, and then there's also reset feature, and then the cheats feature. So right here, if you push the select and the, and the A button, you see, it rewinds. So you can do that throughout the game, you know, as much as you want. You know, you die, accidentally die, or you lost Yoshi. Push that got him back then you just start all over okay another thing is just to get the cheats select an X and we're gonna go down to options I'm sorry we're gonna go to settings let me try to remember where it's at okay we're gonna go to quick menu cheats right there go to cheats load cheat file and we are playing the super nintendo so snes right there and then let's see if we can go the other way yeah and then you just find whatever game you're playing let's see super super mario world not that one right there Super Mario World and then here's all your different cheats Mario Fire, Mario Star, Mario Cape, Infinity Coins, play as Luigi let's do that one okay I got to actually okay Trying to figure out. Okay, it's on. So on, off, on, off. Let's put it on. On, on. So apply changes. Back. Select an X. One player. And then you have to go through all this, and you'll be at playing as Luigi. Start select, jump out, but it has all the cheats for all the systems. It shows you it has the rewind, has reset. I mean, that's pretty much it. All right. I just wanted to show you guys, just wanted to give you a real unboxing, show you how easy it is to set this bad boy up and get running everything on it. So I'm gonna show you how to shut it down now. So you're gonna go start, quit, shut down system. You won't need a restart system, quit, or restart emulation station. You know, shut down system, yes. <clears throat> and then you just watch this. You give it a couple seconds, the blue light will shut off, and there it is. Now it's shut down. All right, guys, I just wanted to put that up because I'm gonna be putting this video on YouTube and putting it 
on my website and putting it on um, other things so that people can see how it, it actually works. The system now has 15,000 games, so order yours now, okay? Have a good one, guys.